British gas to put up electricity bills by 12.5%, owner Satrika says. The average annual dual fuel bill for a typical household on a standard tariff will rise by £76 to £1,120, an increase of 7.3%. Tuesday, August 1, 2017. A parliamentary report has found that electricity prices have soared because of constant intervention in the energy sector by successive governments. So, it's, they've admitted it there. The reason, one of the reasons, that the prices are rising is because of interference by the government. Well, didn't we own all these things uh, and then the, the, the traitors decided to sell them off and make them private because they could screw us all over more easily that way? Mm, yeah, I think so. Electricity will rise by 12.5% from mid-September, British gas owner Centrica says. British gas only owner Centrica. Look into them. There's more going on there than meets the eye. More than 3 million British gas customers will see their electricity bills go up by 12.5% from September the 15th. A rise of 12.5%. Even though <laughs> the price has fallen. The reason for the rise is not for whatever bullshit excuse they want to come up with. The reason for the rise is because all the uh, corporate com corporations were privatised and as a corporation you have one single job, increase profits. That's all this is about. So the multi-billionaires that own all these gas and electric companies are making even more money while the old, the poor, the young are freezing to death. That's the plan. It's all part of the agenda to kill us all, the Agenda 21, Agenda 30, to kill us all. By freezing the elderly who can't afford to put the heating on, the poor who can't afford to put the heating on, so the kids, the babies, the children they've got will also freeze. We're going back to the Stone Age because of these criminals. Energy giant Citrica confirmed the end of its long-standing price freeze after it mistakenly published an incomplete statement about the price hike on its website on Monday. It didn't mistakenly publish the fact that the prices weren't going up. They know damn well the prices do not need to go up. And they published it to laugh at you. That's all it was about. <laughs> them dumb gits think that the prices are staying the same. Well, we can't murder them all if they can afford to heat themselves and feed themselves, can we? It said gas prices would not be going up. This means the average annual dual fuel bill for a typical household on a standard tariff will rise by £76 to £1,120, an increase of 7.3%. Citrica owned British Gas said the price rise was its first since November 2013 and that it would give credit to more than 200,000 vulnerable customers to protect them from the increase. So they're going to protect 200,000 vulnerable customers? That's an absolute lie! Prepayment meter customers are not affected by the price hike. Prepayment customers are not affected by the price hike. Another lie? Because all that happens is next time they go, after 15th September, and September's a big, you yeah. when they go to put more money on the card, they put more money on the card and they'll get less amount of gas electric. So it will affect them. This is a blatant lie, an attack on the poor. Research suggests that British gas should be cutting bills, not putting them up, as the wholesale cost of energy has been falling. There you go, you do the slightest bit of research, like I said earlier. The cost, the overall cost is falling. But they can't kill us all if they can't freeze us to death, can they? If we leave the bills at the cost the same. Not, not forgetting, they're making billions of profit. Billions, I'm not talking millions, I'm talking billions of profit. Each year they make billions and they're still putting the, the, the bills up. Well, that should tell you what's really going on, but only for those that have eyes to see. Analysis of energy regulator of GEM's supply cost index by collective switching site The Big Deal shows that since a peak in December 2016, the costs for energy companies have fallen by 9%. There you go. 
The cost for energy companies have fallen by 9%, but they're going to increase the cost by 12.5%. Add the 9% that's dropped off, that takes it to 21.5% oh, increase in one year. You're being ripped off. And of course they'll say, you know, oh, go to this switch comparison site because, you know, you can always switch to another supplier. Yeah, well, you can do, but they're all owned at the very top by the same bunch of criminals. There is no choice, it's the illusion of choice you're given. But British Gas Chief Executive Mark Hodges asserted wholesale prices during the last 12 months have not gone down and that the price hike was down to cost pressures. So, the multi-millionaire Mark Hodges says it's down to cost pressures, yet <laughs> you've just heard the overall cost has fallen by 9%. This multi-millionaire Mark Hodges is taking the piss out of you. But not just British Gas, all of them will be doing the same because what happens when one puts the cost up? The rest follow suit because they're all controlled by one. At the very end of the day, they're all in it together. And you're not. Time to switch from at British Gas, we are the consumers. We still have choice. Time to switch, like I've just said. There is no switching or changing. It's all the same bunch of crooks involved at the end of the day. He told Sky News, we haven't taken this decision lightly. We realise that 3.1 million people are affected. But we have in the end have had to respond, like many of our competitors to the underlying increases we have seen in electricity. Underlying increases in electricity, they are lying again. In fact, you go down the 453 towards Junction 24, or if you're coming down the motorway, come off at Junction 24, but you don't need to. You can see the power station there from the motorway anyway. It's not producing electricity the way it used to. There used to be a big plume of uh, cloud-forming material, water, whatever, cooling towers. It hardly moves at all. And I know people that work there that have said they don't think they'll have a job there much longer because they aren't producing any electricity in the standard way, burning coal. And that, what I suspect, will be down to the, um, the invention from Australia, because the Australians are doing the same. They're, a guy in Australia, it was on Sky News Australia, we invented this device that once you cracked it up and started it running, it produced energy forever. And of course, they then, in Australia at least, and it looks like here as well, then went to fit these devices into power stations, pretended they were still producing electricity by burning coal and whatever else they claimed they were burning, but they were using free energy devices to produce the electricity and still charge you and increase the prices, just like they're doing in the UK, and that's what I suggest they're doing over at uh, Ratcliffe. Our costs have gone up over the past few years by around 16%, so in the end, despite our own efforts to try and keep our costs under control, our efforts to improve our service, we have just had to make this difficult decision. Costs have gone up by 16%. Crock of shit. Are you going to allow these criminals to murder you? Because that's what this is, is controlled murder. He would not be drawn on whether the firm expected to lose customers over the price increase. He would not be drawn as to whether they, they were going to lose customers because he knows at the end of the day it doesn't matter where you go you're still going to be paying the same amount to the same criminals at the top and he'll get his bonus regardless customers do have choice customers do have choice no they don't they can move to many other companies and that puts the pressure on us and that is why we don't make decisions like today's decision lightly we are very thoughtful about the impact on our customers, and on the number of customers that we are able to serve, he said. Yeah, they're concerned about the impact on their customers. No, they're not. Asked whether customers could see their prices go down in the future, he replied, we always want to keep our prices as low as possible so any opportunity we have to either reduce our own costs, or if the costs that we incur that we don't control go down, of course we would consider passing that on as quickly as we can to our customers. <laughs> if the prices go down, we will consider passing that on as quickly as we can to our customers. Another crock of shit lies. 
Just think back a few years when the price has dropped and dropped and dropped. And it took them a year to lower the price, not by the amount they dropped, but by a fraction of the amount that the, pr the actual price had dropped. So you think they're going to pass any savings on to you? You're living in a dream world. Angry customers responded to the price hike on Twitter, with one writing, I haven't had a pay rise in four years. British gas increase will cripple me. So one customer hasn't had a pay rise in four years, and this increase will cripple him. I wonder if this uh, Mark, the uh, CEO, allegedly, has had a pay rise over the last four years. In fact, you know he has. He's had four, a pay rise every single year by at least 10 to 20%. They're taking the piss. Another wrote, time to switch from at British Gas, we are the consumers, we still have choice. And there you, there you go, they're pushing this, you can switch. Like I've been saying all along, you can switch, but it's still the same bunch of criminals that are controlling it all. How you lot are putting up with this is beyond me. It's ridiculous. But, I guess until... It actually affects your family. Uh, you lose your, your parents or, or your grandparents or your children because they couldn't afford to heat the house. Then you might think, oh, I want to do something now. How about this? Don't wait till that happens and do something now.